So a friend of mine owns a brewery in Westfield, Massachusetts, and I reached out to her because I've been making these leather cozies for a while now and making them by hand, but now that I have the laser, I come up with a template and a laser file so I can cut these out in the laser and also engrave them. So I reached out to my friend and I asked her if she'd like me to make her some custom ones for Skyline Beer Company. And she said she'd be interested. So I did a quick prototype on some cardboard here on the laser so that she can kind of see what it looks like. Um, you know, give her some shots and send her some pictures just like here. And she liked the idea, so I made a proof copy here out of some leather. And this is really testing the laser and the etching for this design to make sure it would cut better, see what I needed to tweak. So as you can see here, the laser etching isn't super deep. Going through and just putting together a quick version of this so I can get it out to her. And then gluing in some extra in some in some extra handle support here for uh, the cozy because it's thin one to two ounce leather. So it needs a little extra beef in the handle there to be able to actually support holding a can. You can see me stitching these up with some nylon wax thread so that adds some additional support in that handle again this is very thin one to two ounce leather so it needs all the support it can get it's light enough to be cut in the laser and i'll throw a link down to the supplier that i use to get this stuff i have a full height of this and it wasn't super expensive as far as leather goes and buying a full height of it but I, you can see me here having to use some pliers to actually get that needle through. And so the holes don't exactly line up completely. So I need to kind of push and punch through. I also get some gunk in there from the, from the glue and the wax that I put on here. Here I am now just doing some finishing, uh, doing another protective coat on the outside of this with some Weaver Tough Coat. That'll protect the leather a little bit because it's going to have drinks in here and drinks sweat. People spill things, so it needs to have a little protection on it. Now, I shipped this off to her. She liked it. We changed the design a little bit. And so here we are going with the production run. She's going to do 20 to start with. So if you're ever out in the Western Mass area, in the Springfield area, come visit Westfield and go to Skyline Brewer Company. They have delicious, delicious beverages, which you can drink there and also take home with you. And you can buy one of these awesome cozies. So I have a full height of leather here, so I'm cutting out sections that'll fit in the laser. I fit roughly about two of these, plus some little handles um, for supports. And you can see me just putting those on some transfer paper. I use the transfer paper on the laser to protect it so it doesn't get a lot of blow off on the leather because leather is tough to clean. So the less post cleaning I have to do, the better. So here I am running those through in the laser and I really like this design that she uh, wanted to go with. Um, have the drink beer here. They have this huge sign out in front of their brewery that actually has uh, the drink beer here on it. And the laser needed a good cleaning, which I just recently did, so it didn't actually punch through all the leather, so I just had to kind of free those with a uh, X-Acto knife to get the other pieces. And I had a lot of those little holes, so I'm looking for something to do with all those little leather pieces. Um, and here I am just cleaning up the engravings with a toothbrush. It um, helps get the burn stuff out and again helps keep the leather clean, giving it a quick wipe down so that doesn't transfer into the leather at all and leave spots all over it. And here I am cleaning off the transfer paper, which is quite time consuming for 20 of these.
All right, now going through and getting all those, getting some more, and now putting some Freiburg's Aussie leather conditioner on here. It's got wax in it. It's meant for dry climates, but I find it's a good protectorant for the leather. Oh, sorry, Fibings. Fibings Aussie leather conditioner. There it is right there. <laughs> sorry about that, Fibings. But I love this stuff to uh, put on in finished leather. It also colors it a little bit, which is nice, so you don't have that full natural veg tan look to it. And here I am cutting out some of the support material for the handles, these, and uh, burning off the edges. These are made from some unfinished leather, one to two ounce leather, which is cheaper than the finished two ounce leather. And now just burnishing those on my leather burnishing block and adding those supports into the cozies themselves using some PVA glue and then clamping them together. And I add two per cozy. It's not a koozie. That's a trademark name. I learned that on Etsy. Here we go. There's all 20 of them ready for the next step, which is going to be using Weaver's Tough Coat, as I used in the prototype, to protect the leather from wear and tear and also from the elements. The wax helps, and then the Tough Coat really helps seal out that outside layer. Thank goodness this stuff's not red. That would look like a crime scene. And I'm just hanging these out to dry on some clamps on my mobile clamp cart in my basement shop. And I did not actually get the video of me stitching all of these. I did these at night on the couch while I was watching TV because it was timely and I had a lot to do. Uh, but before I did that, I actually drilled out these holes because the alignment's kind of off between the inserts and the handles. And also you get the glue gunk in there and some of the tough coat. So it helps us to pre-drill those. And now I'm just burnishing the edges, burnishing and polishing the edges and the handles so it uh, fits better in the hand and feels nice. Um, did a little sanding before doing this burnishing with some gum tragacacanth. And there we go, and here is the finished product. With a nice tasty fresca in there and a super hot summer day here in New England. So for dramatic effect, and there's a bee in my butterfly bush. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button and please consider subscribing to our channel. And if you want to hit the bell to be notified of any new videos, we've got many other projects like this in the laser, woodworking, metalworking, and really anything else we can think of. So appreciate your time and have a good day.